Hey guys, I'm Corey, and I'm here to talk about Bounty Battle. Let me start off by sharing a personal fact. I love indie games. Bounty Battle takes a large offering of loved characters across many games, and I couldn't be more excited to play it. From Guacamelee to Owlboy to SteamWorld Dig, this game hits a lot of fan favorites. Unfortunately, that's where the good things about the game start to drop. The story of the game is very vague. I can't explain why, but these indie characters start to glitch out of their world and into the world of Bounty Battle. Here they are tasked with fighting others to rule this world? Yeah, it's messy. Onto the gameplay. It's a fighter with a very small amount of combinations to use. That's pretty important when it comes to the gameplay of a fighter. During your battles you have to manage health, mana, the bounty that's currently on you, as it's a currency in and of itself, and of course winning. Now that bounty is determined based off the moves you do, uh, and how often you do them, and how you're spending them. So while all the fighting is going on, you have to keep a sharp eye on that number to make sure that you can do your next move the way that you plan it. Speaking of the fighting, it is one of the worst fighters I have experienced. You'll get stuck in certain directions if you are in a series of moves, and the hitboxes seem off. With some of the numbers you are managing, you might be able to summon a sidekick. Too bad those sidekicks, for the most part, don't seem to do anything. Match after match, you will not see very much difference. It's kind of the same thing over and over, which you expect in a fighting game. However, even this one, it just seems unrewarding. And that's ultimately all you can do in the game. Across a local versus mode, a single player versus bot mode, and a tournament mode, you won't be seeing many differences. To pile on, the tournament mode seems to consist of five matches using the same character. I wasn't able to complete the last one, and to top it off, I wasn't able to change the character. So out of all of the characters to choose from, I was stuck using a Bounty Battle original character. It was either bugged, or I needed to complete this tournament with this first character before more were opened up. And if you didn't catch the word local from before, when I was talking about versus mode, that's right, this game is not online, which is a shame. Other things to note are that the music isn't memorable, and while there are matching stages with the lovable indie characters, they too were kind of bland. And lastly, there was a weird glitch effect that appeared throughout the menus and the load screens. I get why they put it in there, it fits with the theme, but it was super annoying. I thought my game was breaking multiple times when in fact, it was just an effect. In any case, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the gameplay of Bounty Battle. Be sure to check out xboxtavern.com for the write-up and the final scores.